second in the game. And Genero to inbound. Underneath, now outside, and backcourt violation, Tyler Elliott. Eric Summers will head in for Griswolds. Coming in for number 32, Brian Bresman. Now check that, 21 gonna come out for Norm Eccleston. Eccleston will sit for a bit. Good row to Rozier, right side. Scott Bears, 38-31 the score here in Killingly. Third quarter, 5.05 to play. Gibson, jump shot two does not fall. Back down to Genero. Sean Brackett across the floor, a long pass, and just hanging on to it for Bresman. Genero, Brackett, right side Elliott. Elliott will bring it around front and take the three-point basket, does not fall off the front of the rim, and down into the hands of Scott Barris. Barris will run the floor over, a long pass, Hoyt back out to Gibson. Gibson shot off the back glass is no good, but he's fouled on the way up. And the foul will come from Sean Brackett. That is, I believe, his fourth. It is. So he picks up number four. Eric Chester will head in as Gibson. Go to the line. And it's good for Shane Gibson. And Sean Brackett will come out. Shot two on the way. Is good. So add two more to Shane Gibson's total on the night. 40 to 31. Nine point lead here for the Redmen. Tyler Elliott. Down the floor and heavy pressure from Shane Gibson, right side. We'll lose it, we'll pick it up. Gibson last touch on its way out of bounds. Inbound coming. Kyle Genero finds Eric Summers back to Genero. Eric Chester underneath, and Goodrow had a hand on it. Three on one underneath, it's Goodrow to come down with it. Shane Gibson will push it across for Killingly. 40 to 31, Goodrow, Hoyt underneath. Back out to Scott Barris, finds Shane Gibson. Gibson, Barris, long three, does not fall. Comes back down to Kyle Genero. Genero, a long pass, and open underneath. 45 shot, doesn't fall for Eric Summers. Summers misses the two. Killingly able to grab the rebound. Shane Gibson, shot, one-handed, is up and good for Shane Gibson. 42-31, and again tonight, gonna be tough for to stop Shane. Maybe the Achilles heel here tonight for Griswold. Shot three is no good. Shot four is. Foul on the way up. Foul's on Mikey Goodrow again. That is his second, third. To the line. Looking for the three-point play here, Brian Bresman. Off the front of the rim, no good. Back down to Goodrow. Good row to Hoyt, to Shane Gibson, who will move it across here for Killingly in the third quarter, 3.15 to play. Tommy DeRozier finds Shane Gibson, DeRozier, four threes on the night. Good row looking for the basket there, no good. Back down to Bresman. Bresman will hand it off to Tyler Elliott, who will push it across for Griswold. Still plenty of time left for Griswold. They were able to uh, Make a comeback earlier tonight in the junior varsity game. Shane Gibson gets the missed shot rebound there by Tyler Elliott. Foul on the floor on Killingly. Check that. Going in for the Redmen, Alex Adams, number 30. Norm Eccleston in for Griswold. So Griswold will take it the other way. 2.40 to play, 42-33. Tyler Elliott 
looking to make it uh, work it inside and nearly lost it from Tommy DeRozier. Chester's shot does not fall. Back down to Sean Hoyt. Hoyt dips into Adams. Adams trapped for a moment, finds Scott Barris, whose shot is blocked on the way up by Eccleston. Back the other way, and Gibson in the right place at the right time again. Able to get it back for Killingly's shot does not fall. Just to the left for Tommy DeRozier. And the ball goes out of play. A couple rows up into the bleachers. And the inbound coming for Eric Chester. And Griswold to move it across. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Competition here tonight in Killingly. Game seven, looking for three in a row. Five on the year of the Redmond. Muscling his way to the hoop. No good for Genero. And Scott Barris. Moving across to the Redmond. 42-33. It has been the Redmond the entire way. They opened up 5-0 to open up the first quarter. Hanging on to it is Shane Gibson, no pressure. And now beginning to move in is Tyler Elliott. He'll have to get rid of it. Finds Tommy DeRozier. DeRozier, Scott Barris. Redmond strong from the outside in the first half and that helped them pad their lead. That's Alex Adams. Number 30, Sean Hoyt underneath lays it up for two. So Sean Hoyt, taking up two more, back to an 11 point lead now, 44-33. Under a minute to play, third quarter, Eric Summers. Pass it off to Eccleston. Eccleston bring it around front and has nowhere to go with it. Instead finds Genero. Alex Adams will pick up the foul, number 30 for the Redmen. Back in goes Bresman. Out comes Kyle Genero, number 42. You're watching inside KHS Sports. Unprecedented coverage this year of Redmond and Red Gal basketball gymnastics next weekend against NFA as they open up shop for 2007. Two on one, he's trapped, has to get rid of it and falls into the hands of Scott Barris. And Barris to Shane Gibson. Gibson, ball taken away, had it, lost it. Gibson picks it up, timeout. While well, he still had possession of it, just barely, for Scott DeRozier. Let's go courtside, listen in. As they put a plan together, courtside, in front of us here tonight in Killingly. Hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, guys. This is a big trip here, okay? I want to either be taking the last shot or I want to be getting a hoop here, all right? Should we, should we get it in just to get it in? Or should we try to... Should we, Let's run, run 33 for Gibby. 33 for Gibby. All right? Okay? If we don't have it, get it out and run ISO. Okay? 33 for Gibby. If we don't get it, get it out and run ISO. All right, here we go. Team on three here. One, two, three. Let's go. Redmond hang back out onto the floor. Tom DeRozier to inbound for the Redmond, a junior at Killingly High School. DeRozier will find Shane Gibson, who will take the shot, falls short, back down to Griswold. And De Shane Gibson trying to grab it back, does not. And here's Tyler Elliott, right side with Alex Adams. Adams again, charged with a foul, his second. And second in a row here for the Redmen for Adams. DJ DeLisser gonna head in for Killingly, along with Corey Glode. Again, Glode having, having to sit out a little bit. And a bit of foul trouble himself. Heading, gonna head back out there. Eric Chester to inbound. Eric Summers and Tommy DeRozier picks it up. Scramble on the floor, DeRozier to Scott Barris. A long three, launched it from almost midcourt. Does not fall, just a bit short, 44-33. That's the way the third quarter will end. We have eight minutes to play here at Killingly High School and Griswold beginning to run out of time in their comeback here tonight. Next weekend, we're back on the air. Gymnastics from Deer East Gymnastics Center in Danielson. They open up the season against Norwich Free Academy. All eyes, of course, on seniors Casey Fillmore and Justine Basley and the freshman named Christine Karen. 
supposedly at the same level 